Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome to Planet Crafter, my favorite number goes up simulator. Where the full version of the game was just released and added in uh, dogs and like a bunch of other cool stuff. So we're starting a new game today. Or not. Because no one survives that kind of crash. Except for me. And what was the lore again? Oh yeah, technically we're a slave and that's why we have to terraform this planet into a lush green paradise. And oh yes, the number in the top right. Soon it shall go up. And to do so, we have to find and pick up the Garbino. So we can make like backpacks and tools and then like little bases and stuff. And we generate power to run machines that start to terraform the world. So number can go up. Now the whole point of the entire rest of the game is to make numbers go up faster. And when we get numbers to go up faster, we get new things like solar panels and better heaters and beacons, oh my. Oh, and then everything goes fine until the sky decides, hey, time to die. But we'll never get hit, right? Nah, we're fine. We'll just keep getting new things and search for treasure in these down ships if we could see anything. Yeah, there's always lots of loot to be found because there are crash ships everywhere because reasons? Lore? I don't know. I, okay. I still can't see anything. Except for that. Gimme. And a uh, cheap? I love cheaps. But anyway, that is like the basic premise of the game. You loot, you scoot, you build new things. Number go up. But first, the chip has a blueprint. What's the blueprint have? Agility boots? I have no idea how to make those. But we will soon. Well, anyway, I guess I'm just gonna look for chests and loot and ooh, super alloy. So we can make new cool stuff. We kinda start flying through the game here. Because once numbers start going up, they go up fast. All the while, the world is changing due to our terraforming. And it'll change fast because lucky me, I have played the game before and I know where to find the good stuff. And also I know exactly what technology I want immediately. And we need the chips to unlock it. And after some scooting, we can build it. And there we go. I have a jetpack. So now we don't need a peasant trot no more. And we can fly everywhere super fast. Which will help a lot in this collect-a-thon numbers game. And as I'm flying through things, we're getting better tech so we can terraform faster. And ever so slowly, we're even turning the planet's surface green. Very, very slowly. I'll give it a little bit and I'll turn our new base I built here into a monolithic terraforming facility. Oh wait, first, what's that? New biome? Oh yeah, look at this! It's like a whole tundra area. Any cool things to loot around here? <gasps> like a box? What's in the box? Shiny? What's in the box? A squash. Oh, <laughs> and a uranium rod? Thanks. Also, I'd love to see how this biome will look once we start to terraform more. Because as the planet gets warmer, the ice will melt and everything here will look a lot different, I'm sure. <gasps> oh! Piece of candy. The chosen one? No cheaps. <gasps> but beans! Freaking love beans. Wait, what's that noise? That rain? It's raining? Already? Sheesh, okay, we're moving quick. But wait, I think I'm lost now. What? What is all of this? Wanna crash ship down there? Oh, there's so much to see. Wait! This is so greedy. I'm probably gonna die, don't die. I have a jetpack. Oh, the jetpack didn't help. I saw a small little box, which usually has cheap. Hello, cheap. You just go from one place to another and there's always so much to find. But now I gotta find my way home, I'm scared. Oh, and thank goodness we're back, okay. Wasn't worried at all. But now at this point, where are we at the terraformation? Well, we have liquid water on the planet and soon we're gonna have oceans i think so really what we need to do now is make bigger numbers by making bigger machines and also eat beans delicious but the number's not going up fast enough nope we gotta take some drastic action rockets brother rockets see if we build a magnetic field protection rocket and this asteroid attraction one which sounds a little dangerous. We get 1000% multipliers. So yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Although again, dangerous, whatever, launch it. <laughs> and then build the other one right inside of it. Good. And then launch it too. Goodbye, brothers. Enjoy your great journey 
to space and beyond together in an elegant dance of incredible engineering. Holy sh- I forgot, we're gonna die. Uh oh gosh, oh my gosh, the asteroids. The asteroids. Wait, there's not a lot of them. Wait, because they're all full of uranium? What the heck, brother? It's the good loot raining from the skies. Nuclear power for Mr. Kibbs. In perfect timing, we just got the tier two nuclear reactor. It's all part of the plan. With all that loot in those rockets, the numbers going up big. 100 MTI, we're getting moss on the world, and things are looking good. And even that biome we're at earlier, the ice one, well, it's not looking so cold anymore, bud. Wow, it's looking beautiful. There gotta be loot around here somewhere, right? Oh, pfft. perfect. Ow, my bones. <laughs> Give me the loot. I feel like I'm missing something here. There gotta be more secrets around, right? Like you can't just build this many waterfalls and not hide a couple secret caves behind them. Oh, wait a second. Well, it's not behind the waterfall, but it's pretty close by. What is this? Rock candy? Magnetar? Quartz with tremendous amounts of energy. Okay, I don't even know what this stuff is. It's new to me. Uh, we will build a house next door. And then run in and check on the loot. What's in you? Eh? Ooh, uranium? And you? What the heck, a pressure multiplier fuse? Insert this fuse into an optimizer to boost the performance of machines. That sounds pretty good. But enough exploring for a little bit. More rockets, you better believe it. And then a plant rocket, yes. Give it a second, give it a second, hold. Beautiful, love watching them dance. Now come at me, uranium. Witness me! Oh god! I didn't think it actually hit. Alright, that gave us enough power to do anything we want. And what we're gonna do next is actually mess with that weird tube we found. Turns out I actually unlocked this machine optimizer at some point. So we're just gonna go over to our little pressure rig area. Oh. And destroy the whole thing because now we have a tier 4 drill. And a tier 4 heater? Oh my gosh, dude. Those rockets! My numbers! Love to see it. Drill first though, let's put this down right over <laughs> here. Then we can build the optimizer by it. There you go. And put in a tube. Now that's running even better. Oh my gosh, look at the terraformation number go. Wow. They may have also noticed, I found another oxygen fuse too. So now we can build one of these by the lake. Now our algae will make more oxygen. But oh my gosh, my numbers, they're moving. The planet is grooving. And there's weird stuff growing underwater. What is this? Alien species? I didn't make you. But things are about to slow down right about now. Sad. Hey, but we get an exoskeleton. That's cool. So back on the loop once more, making more complicated things and building even uh, bigger machines and hopefully we can find more special tubes because they actually changed the entire planet so let's adventure around again see what we can see oh hey or find mushroom what the heck is all of this Ooh, that's not what i thought it would be but a warden's altar can i can i take you hello gimme give, gimme give give me. neat what is that really weird altar in the distance? Wait, no, I think that's lava? What on earth? Is that a new rock? Iridium? Okay, no, we have that already, and okay! New to me as well. Looks gross. Can I make like a geothermal plant here? Can I die here? Yep, yep, real quick, that, yep, yeah, okay. Oh wait, and what, a new thing. Obsidian. I wonder what do we do with that? And then further beyond, more lava biome, a uh, spaceship? Sir, I don't think you can park here. Can we get in? Yes, we can. Ooh. What's in the box? Super alloy? <gasps> Ooh, and a rocket engine. Excellent. But overall, nothing too crazy. 
You know what is crazy though? That we're not the first people here. No, nope. someone else was. They made a house. And then uh, they, they went crazy. Big crazy. Thank goodness I'm not going crazy. That would be crazy, you know? How crazy would that be? Imagine making like mutagen and stuff like that. That'd be a crazy person thing to do. That I'd never do. No, a real crazy person would actually take that mutagen, put it into a rocket, and then spread it across an entire planet. But you see, it's not crazy when I do it because I need numbers to go up on a screen. But look, numbers. And with our numbers flying up so fast, I've already unlocked fusion reactors. So power's not a problem anymore. And things are changing so fast, you could blink and miss it. Even the terrain's changing fast. Speaking of, what's going on there? You have a jetpack, right? We can sneak straight up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, fine, okay. Looks like a tree is coming in, I guess. Where does that lead to? Oof. Ooh, pretty. Wow, I should set up a base over here. This is great. And wait, waterfall? Oh, you know, there gotta be a secret behind this waterfall. Oh my gosh, finally, finally. One of them had to have a secret. Wait, what, what are these? Oh, what well, was supposed to be a fun, relaxing time turned into a nightmare? Five weeks spaceship cruise across the lesser known parts of the universe ended up in everybody going oof. Okay. Well, you left me good stuff, right? Oh, what? Oh, it's not. It's all tier two and tier one. This box? Okay, a little bit better. Always can appreciate a chip. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Excuse me? Is it just one? Uh, it looks like the universe has sent me a gift. Ooh! Of Golzar crystals? Thanks, universe. That will be a tremendously nice power plant. Wow. Yeah, just been exploring around a bit, collecting all the loots, and I found this thing. It's like a portal. And you know, now that the game's complete, it actually might be a portal. Maybe we can actually leave here? That'd be cool. But in the meantime, just run around finding cool stuff. Ooh, like a message. Today was the inauguration of the space warp gate. So this is a warp gate. Took two years to build and then suddenly everybody died. This shouldn't have happened. Go figure. Just don't die, duh. Ooh, and if we get a fusion core, looks like we might be able to reactivate it? Sounds like a good future kids project. Current Kibbs, though, is going on a bit of a building spree. Because at this point, everything's kind of been the same. You go ahead, you build yourself more power, you build yourself bigger terraforming machines, then you fly around and find more resources. And that kind of leads into resource automation, where you can drill it up from the ground. Then you repeat that same loop until we get to right where we are now, where we're starting to deal with organic life. See, that mutagen rocket we sent up earlier was only the beginning. We can splice different types of DNA in a DNA manipulator. We can make trees. We can make bugs. And even fish. There starts to be too many items to craft, so we have to start automating some of it. We're gonna look into some automation. So over this way, where I started planting some trees, we're gonna build an organics factory. So then, when we build the auto crafter, whatever is in its range, it can like pick up and turn into whatever you want. So if we just throw this down in the middle here and set the recipe, we just need those things nearby. The algae comes from the algae generators, so we can just throw those like practically right underneath. Then eggplants, we can just grow. But then sulfur, we kind of still have to hand deliver. For now, at least we'd be automatically crafting though. And once one thing's going, it gets a lot easier to get everything else underway. So a lot less to worry about. And soon, I don't think I'll have to worry about oxygen anymore? Next stage, breathable atmosphere. That'll be nice. Well, if that's the case, I better get some more organic stuff online, eh? Automate some mutagen, make some crazy creatures. But actually, I think I already can. Like, I've been finding this larva all over the place. So if we just get that and put it in the old bug palace, yeah, we can make like butterflies and stuff. And oh yeah, making butterflies helped a lot. The great number board, really like that one. And the atmosphere is breathable. In fact, we almost have fish. Almost as good as cheeps. In fact, let's have some cheeps. Anything cool? That's really cool. What else? What, what, what? What was that? Microchip? 
Oh, the convenience spot. Okay, don't judge me. What if we had a couple more chips? Interior wall. Nice. And deconstruction mark two. I think that's really important, but I forget why. Well, perhaps we could take a look around in our teleporter. Oh, yeah, but things be moving very quickly, which I guess makes the jetpack redundant. But as I say, bigger number. Tier three better than tier two. Let's get it. Oh, but wait a second, hold up. I remember what the deconstruction ship was for. It's way back in the beginning. We're exploring like a ship like this, right? Inside, there's server racks, which give us circuit boards. Ooh, new flavor of chip. Then what do we do with the new chips? Maybe you should check our progress, see where we're actually at. So yeah, the teleporters, we're about to get the fish. There's a tier three ore extractor. Get tier three trees. A new rod. Oh, the fusion cell. Very good. And a drone station. Even gooder. How do we make a drone station? Oh, with the chips and, oh, fusion cell. And then how do you make the fusion cell? With a bunch of stuff that we have? We don't have. Well, I didn't fully explore over this way, so maybe we can take a look uh, to the right here. Looks like we found something very cool. A tree. Yeah, there's like some solar panels over there. It's over by yonder wreckage. Dead person base? Do you have any crystals for me? Uh, not really looking like it. Just a message. Maybe some help will come. Maybe they'll send a rescue team. Uh, no, you died. Shouldn't have died. Ooh, woo, wah! Energy multiplier. That with fusion reactors. All right, power dealt with forever. Thank you. What about downstairs? Oh, <gasps> finally. Jeez Louise. At least we got one. And uh, satellite. Neat. What if I just stayed here forever? You crazy. Ooh, chip and Terra tokens. The heck is a Terra token? I can't believe it. The whole base was just filled with useless garbage. Aside from one crystal, and I guess the multiplier fuse is insanely overpowered. As will the tier three ore extractor be. I can't believe it, but we needed three of those pulsar crystals to make the fusion cell, bruh. Whatever. Oh, but we have fish. And soon amphibians, maybe of the ambiguous variety. First, anybody see a fish? Not seeing any fish. At least at any rate, we can make the optimizer and have just a crazy amount of power. After rummaging through some hills, I finally found the quartz. So now fusion, you better believe it. Before we go off and build the drone station though, I remember we could use the fusion core for some other stuff. Thinking the ships? Yes, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Jesus, that scared me. What did it do? What opened a door? What's through the door? Loot? Oh, yeah. Profit, baby. More? Anything else around here? A vault? Ooh. More loot? More tokens? Jeez Louise. What do we do with you? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Speed up the generation time for machines? And another energy multiplier? Wow. Yep, that's the good vault. What a blueprint for pulsar quartz. What? But most important, we can get that fusion thing back, right? Like, it wasn't used up, please. <laughs> also, why the heck do we need a fusion reactor running to open one door? Like, really? Really? You really could have used that quartz there, bud. But I guess now we can make it, eh? Is it over here? Yes. Oh, and even better, all those items we can actually farm. That's infinite all sort of quartz forever. Plus, infinite energy because we keep finding multipliers. Feels good, man. Now fusion cells aren't even a problem. And since they aren't, let's go back to this portal here and see if we can activate it. Here you are. So, portal time. Wait, no, that just sounded like a door. Again. But maybe through the door? More of the excellent loot? In the big safe? Ooh, a chip. And wait, wait, wait. Energy multiplier. Oh yeah, the big loot. Worth it. But for real, no portal? Say it. But at least now we can go and build drones. All of the drones. How do we build the drones? Craft them? Drone? Yes. All of those, please. They go into an inventory. And then this is too scary for me. But how they work 
If you just put down a bin or have any bin in the world and just have it either demand or supply stuff. So say we wanted to demand uh, eggplants. Oh gosh, hey, what? The drones will go and fetch them from somewhere. Wait a second, are they going to the farms? <gasps> they automatically go to food growers? That's amazing. Wow, that's gonna make life a lot better. Mostly since I don't have to fly to the factory here anymore and they can ship all the annoying stuff I've automated. Then I can clean up this area in our main base and turn it into a super genetics lab. Cause the boss can go and grab all kinds of stuff. Oh, but the best thing in the game is setting up these tier three miners, which let you collect whatever you want. Well, depending on the area. And then you can organize your storage room so you never have to worry about item management again. Oh, and perfect. Just the thing I was waiting for. The machine that'll let us get the party started in the brand new genetics lab. So now look at all the fish and some of the new toys I've been unlocking. Does this please the number board? I guess a little bit. Well, I think I know what the board might like. Bees in the atmosphere. Oh yeah, yeah, orbital bee bombardment. Let's go! Do it again. More bees. Send it. Oh wait, more bees. If we ever make it to space, this is gonna be awesome. And board? What do you think about space bees? I think it liked it a lot. Let's spread out some more bacteria up there then too, yeah? Yeah, good idea. Ooh, and the board has rewarded us with new mutagen? You're welcome, board. Glad I could make you happy. And you know what'd make me happy? Fish. Me and my homies love fish. So much so that I made in a whole aquarium. Look at them all. Cute. Hey, what, the fr what the heck? Universe, relax. Like for Pete's sake, we are creating life. We're practically a god. Universe gotta stop throwing such a hissy fit. And besides, we gotta start worrying about frogs now. Whoa! And tier four mutagen? And then the doggos? Amphibian farms? Okay, okay, this is gonna be fun. Even better, this isn't actually difficult to make either. Let's go upgrade the factory here then. Go upstairs, we go from zero to tier one, then to tier three, that was weird. Uh, no, tier two please. Then tier three, then tier four. So now that's all set. So that way we can make frogs, which then we can genetically modify to make even more horrifying. Then we can go outside and let them loose upon the world. Or at least join the other ones that somehow made it outside already. But I did make your neighbors, so you guys, you guys have fun together, okay? Just don't stare too long into their eyes. You'll lose your soul. But after littering down, you know, a couple hundred more frogs and a lot more bugs, we finally tipped over the line and can make mammals. Along with a little shelter and feeder station. And with that, I think we need to upgrade the genetics lab again. Because now there's a genetic extractor and synthesizer. But we need like crazy quartz for that. But earlier on, we did find the purple crazy quartz, right? Yeah, we found some of that stuff over here. Well, 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 crazy quartz acquired. After uh, literally one more second of looking around, <laughs> turns out there's a lot more quartz in the cave. Oh, imperfect. Blue quartz? Blue quartz. Oh boy, I can't wait to genetically engineer a monster. Because that cave had everything we needed to make the new equipment. And how's it work? You extract genes from like bees and frog eggs and flowers and everything practically. And then <laughs> you have to manipulate the DNA. For the species, colors, stripes, luminosity, and size. Well, this won't be dangerous at all. But we should be able to get through things relatively quickly because Mr. Kibbs was uh, busy and I made a whole new genetic space way on the outskirts of the map. So over here, we have all of the frogs, we have the bugs, and we can do all the genetic manipulation that we want. And I even went ahead and rebuilt a whole new genetics factory to get more mutagen that's more local and fertilizer. Best part, upstairs, we have so many incubators 
Uh, we can make as many bees or butterflies or whatever really, really fast. And right next door are a bunch of bins that are going to have all the stuff we're going to need. So we're set up there and downstairs. I've just gotten ready for all of the genetic material we're about to extract. Let's see what kind of monster we can make. Uh, larva, go in there. Give me your DNA. Fish, can you go in there? Both the fish. We'll get colors from one of them, and the other one just does nothing. Great, thanks for the color. And oh yeah, down here it shows you everything. These are all like colors. Some of them give like skin patterns, more colors. Ooh, luminosity, size, and the bee larva, silkworms, and rare larva give you different species. And after sacrificing lots of different life forms, uh, we now have a lot of genetic code to make whatever horrifying monster we want in a variety of colors. So maybe we just test out something small and silly. Because I'm not super confident in our first Frankenstein monster here. So white and cool blue, creature three, whatever that means, and then size one. The size, that's it. We, we got it. Insert into an animal shelter to spawn the animal. Okay, hopefully it's not too horrific. Oop. And the heck is that? Looks like a, a beaver mixed with an armadillo or something. It's so small. Oh, we can ride it though. Let's go. Oh, we cannot ride it. We can pet it though. <gasps> pet the animal. Pet the creature. Oh, and we can steal genetics from it when we pet it. Heck yeah, bud. Oh, hold up though. I forgot about something. The animal needs food. And the feeder needs flour. What? This is hilarious. We can genetically engineer life itself, but I don't know how to make flour. Oh, hold up. Thinking about it for a second. I think I know what it is. I've tried to avoid this, but there's like a trade space rocket and a portal generator. I was like, well, how does this help with our numbers? Probably not a lot, right? So I ignored it. But I'm gonna guess that you can use all the Terra tokens to buy the flower and you're kind of forced into it. Let's go see what's on the market. <laughs> Look at our little bean trade ship. Okay, tokens allow you to buy items and blueprints and you can insert items into the rocket to sell it. And of course, there are the wheat seeds. Oh, and a lot of other stuff like multipliers, oxygen multiplier, new trees, new butterflies, T2 storage lockers, what? Energy multipliers, excuse me, production multipliers? New things to build, this is like a whole thing. Well, good thing we got a bunch of these tokens available. So we can buy seeds. So let's do some trade in there, bud. Then back at the genetic space, on the roof of it, or at least the back part of it, I've made some outdoor farms to grow stuff we need for the genetic material and also now wheat because wheat is like the final item in the game we had to farm. And then on another rocket ship, I went ahead and I unlocked a cooking station because that's the only way you can turn the wheat into flour. But check this out. You can make high quality food, chocolate, croissants, cookies, birthday cake, and soup. So check this out, watch Chef Kibbs make some flour. Just spin it on the grill, easy. And now our creature can feast and grow strong. Enjoy. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd the creature go? Hello? It ran away. Are you kidding me? Oh, and a storm's coming. Oh no, it's even better. It's actually an asteroid storm. Great. Creature? Creature? Get off the freaking ground. Eat the food. Eat the food, stop panicking. It's okay, it's just an asteroid. Don't look so scared. Yeah, you know what, actually, whatever. That's like our test subject. We can make better animals now we know what we're doing. Or I call them animals. They're more gonna be like abominations, I'm sure. So let's see what we have here. It's another one that looks exactly the same, except a lot bigger. Okay. But what about this one? Oh, it's like a land shark. Slug, I love you. Next up, oh my gosh, I, okay, that, that wins. That is the cutest badooty I've ever seen. I don't know, actually. It's either this guy or the slug shark. You know what, actually, I think I like the slug shark. 
But what's the last creature? Oh, another slug shark. Perfect. All right, you win. You're the new favorite. But we could also make a terrifying monster. Because I have spent a little bit of time here collecting traits. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, we could do something pretty cool. Let's get some cool colors. I think the one, two, and three determines which creature it is. So one is the slug, two is the monkey, and three is the terrified looking beaver antelope thing. So let's go with the slug. Let's give it a cool skin pattern. Then another cool skin pattern. And bioluminescence. And what will we create with that? Oh, we need a different color. So there's an A color and a B color. These are two B colors, okay. Well then wait, let's do kind of like the orange and white. Oh, and who could forget? Let's make this bad boy huge. Now let's cook it up and see what we get. Oh my God, that looks so cool actually. I'm a huge fan. But this one needs a lot of growing up to do. No guys, look. Holy what chonky lads. Where's our favorite one? Chilling like a villain, hiding in the bush? Why, we're best friends. But yeah, they grow up so fast. And they're still as cute as ever, besides when they blink, that is horrifying. But now that is it. I've gotten everything I could ever want. But the board has provided everything it could. There are no more unlocks. And the final stage is probably just like a mission complete. So we're gonna call it here for now. And if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye